I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from my IB student. It is curve sketching quiz 4. Question number 1, part C. What is true about the function f of x equals to 1 over x squared plus 6x minus 7 as x approaches 1 from left side? Four options are given to you. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now let us factor the denominator to really understand the function. So function is f of x equals to 1 over quadratic equation. We are looking for sum of 6 and product of minus 7. That is uh, 7 times minus 1, right? So we could factor this as x plus 7 times x minus 1, right? That is now the function for us. Now clearly it has two vertical asymptotes as you can see. So, so one vertical asymptote is at x equals to 1 positive, right? So this is this one positive. The other one is at 7 negative, right? So these are the two vertical asymptotes. So I'm taking this opportunity to also explain you the concepts as we answer these questions one by one, okay? So now we need to find what is the behavior of the graph when x is approaching 1 from the negative side means left side. So when you're approaching from this side, what is the behavior, right? So within within this interval, correct? So you could approximately sketch this graph. We are sketching the graph of the parabola, which opens upward. So basically the parabola is kind of like this. Is it okay? Kind of like this. Now when you're doing the reciprocal, it is negative, right? So you're approaching infinity for sure, but towards negative because the reciprocal for this is going to be negative. So it is kind of like this. Is it okay? And therefore, the option is D. We are approaching, F of X is approaching minus infinity as X is approaching one from negative side. So this is a graphical representation or the answer. The other way is you can actually calculate the value by substituting something which is less than 1, slightly less than 1. So if I do that, if I have, let's say, x equals to uh, 0 0.9, in that case, this part is going to be positive. This part is going to be, since it is 0 0.9 minus 1, negative, right? So when you multiply positive and negative, what do you get? You get negative. And therefore, the option is f of x is approaching negative infinity. So you could place a value, calculate, that is another way. Most of the time, calculators will not be allowed for this type of question. So that approximation really helps to answer the question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.